everyone this is me as a sent from credits unit this is my first this is my second tutorial on PSP uh, in this video I will tell you how does PSP work so let's start um, we have uh, at first tell told you that PSP is a server side language um, though it's a server side language so you can execute this on your computer to execute this you need a server computer but you can execute this on your computer for that you have to create a temporary server on your computer it's very easy to create a create a computer as a server you just need a free software named apache for that if you install this software on your pc it will create a temporary server on your pc after that you will be able to execute php on your browser when a visitor visit a web page the server process the php code and show the output on your browser which was written on html basically browser can read the html code but uh, if you want to read the php on your browser you have to create a server for that but it's why okay when a user save or download the html page then the user will find the html codes browser interpret the html codes but PHP works on different way. A browser can't show the code of a page written on PHP because any browser can interpret the PHP code. Basically, a web server uh, like Apache or ISS, sorry, IIS, can interpret the PHP code. Um, how does the PHP work? It was our topic today. So, when a client uh, visit for the web. Uh, visit for uh, PSP or apply request for a PSP it go to the web server and uh, uh, web server sent to the PSP code to the PSP module then it's read to read by the um, PSP module and it's again back to server and it's show on the client on the browser like this um, okay when an user request for a page on server by any browser uh, if that page complete with hypertext preprocessor that means the PHP extension that means that PHP is a PHP page then the then the page request will transfer to PHP interpreter which has given on the picture above I had showed you uh, the PHP interpreter make the communication with the file to show that on the browser every PHP file contain the file processing system it also make a communication with database email server etc whether it's needed after the php file go to the web server and finally web server send that file to browser this is the process the process to execute the php um, basically uh, with that we are using the browser uh, opera mozilla uh, Chrome and Internet Explorer this can't uh, execute the PSP uh, the PSP hypertext preprocessor uh, when uh, you request for a PSP file it will go uh, it will send your request to the web server and web server uh, has contained the um, uh, file PSP file module to read the PSP file it will read the PSP file and again it will send to the web server then finally the web server will send uh, the file to the client and the client or the user will be able to see the PSP on his or her browser. This is this was the second tutorial on the PSP, and after this you will find um, you will find that how to install Apache and how to run it and others in the next. So stay connected with us. Uh, share this if you find helpful for uh, you, and subscribe with us uh, to get more videos on PSP. Thanks for watching, thanks once again.